Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe JCL Practical Tutorial Part 2. So in this video, I would like to share you uh, things about how to create a PDS and uh, copy a data from one PS to another PS and uh, copy a data from one PDS uh, to another PDS. So let's go ahead and see by connecting to a mainframe terminal. The first we will see how to create a PDS member. So this is my JCL lib. Now I'm trying to open my member called PDS create. Okay, in edit mode. So as usual, this would be the job card. Then next you have to give a comment about what is a, what is a below step is going to do. So it is mandatory uh, to have the user under understandability. So my step is you. I'm trying to making a use of IAFBR 14 utility. This is the IBM provided utility and the step name. This is the DD name. E name. Okay. So I'm trying to create a practice vjkumar.test.practice with jclib. So this since this is the new display is equal to always new catalog delete and uh, space track if primary secondary and if you are using a data set organization I mean sorry if you are going to use a PDS member you have to give this uh, another third parameter the next record format lyrical and block size okay that's it so now I'm going to submit this enter job is submitted ended with max is equal to zero that's it if you want to see the successful log message go to spool and see yes st okay i'm going to spool you can see it should the step one should always uh, sh should throw a return code equal to zero zero so the moment setup is successfully executed if you go to message allocated to ddm and a dsn so vjkumar.jc uh, practice.jc has been successfully created you will get a message from jes to that allocated to says print and says out and you have to make sure that step one was executed with condition code zero zero so it is it is uh, checked to the I mean it is user to check the log messages. So usually we go to J E S Y M S H and uh, J C L. It is the expanded code of your J C L. So that's it. So now you have created your P D S member successfully. So what we will do is now we will create some P D S members inside this J C L lib. Okay. So copy just go to 3.4 that is 3 stands for utilities and 4 stands for display so just paste it enter then give an edit so I'm trying to create some members MEMB1 okay just simply save it so nothing is there you don't have anything or something else so member one is created just try to view it in more just that's it you can see a partition data set where you can have a multiple members created so th there are two ways of creating a member members inside the PDS that is one is go to E and uh, type is MEMB2 so this is the first way to create the member and another way is just edit mode just type s and uh, enter it as memv3 that's it then save it okay now you have successfully created three members three members in this pra in this jcl lib so what we will do is we will try to copy these members copy these members from these to another okay save it 
we will try to copy a PDS member from one PDS to another PDS so how to do this so I have created a JCL lib, JCL for this so we have an another IBM utility called IEB copy so which is used to copy uh, one from one PDS to another PDS so it is mostly we use to take the backup to make a backup of if one got deleted we have a backup of this PDS member just I'm trying to make a backup of uh, a created JCL lib so we have an abg here one second okay let's see so sysut1 and sysut2 is a dd1 dd names which you need to give it this is the original one and uh, this is the backup one so by at the runtime itself you can create this pds member or else you can create uh, initially and then you come back and paste it here so either 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 of this is good so record format fd and suspend dd sysin it says copy in dd sysut1 and sysut2 so this is the parameters you need to pass in sysin, uh, sysin. so copy in dd input dd that is the this is your sysut1 and output dd where you want to copy i mean where you want to create a backup uh, store all these members into particular pds library so this is sysut2 so that's it so simple right so don't forget to give the comments it is for user understandability just I'm going to submit this let us see what happens okay it ended with return code zero, zero. it's been successfully completed let us see if this is axis okay I'm taking trying to take this copy go to 4.4 just show it again three four display edit paste it sorry you need to paste it here paste it enter just audio yes see here the two things happen one is it's created a PDS member and at the same time it also copied all the members exist in one that is an JCL lib JCL lib to practice dot JCL lib to practice dot JCL lib dot backup so simple so this is the way we create uh, I mean we copy a one PDS to another we copy a file from one PDS to another file okay in the same way I think uh, did I show PS creation yeah okay no I think uh, now I will show you how to create a PS file I think I have covered this how to create the PS file so in this video I would like to cover one more thing like how to copy a file from one PS to another PS okay let's see how to do this okay as usual your job card don't forget to give your comment it's, it's for user understandability and uh, we have a next step called IEB Jenner which uh, IBM supplied uh, utility so now I have a, a file name or the PS name called vjkumar.test.practice.ps1 where I stored some data and you have I wanted to take a backup for the further for the future use so at the runtime itself I'm going to create this backup file and store the data whatever we I have in PS1 that will be copied to uh, backup 2 so before I take a backup what I want to do is just I want to make sure if I have any data over here or not in this file so just copy just go to three three four and paste it just make sure you have any data over here or not yes I have a data here some uh, number and some names okay John Raju Ravi and Tom so yes, I have a number and also check you have a backup file already created or not okay no there is no nothing like backup file backup file is not created let's go to the JCL and uh, we'll create we'll create that backup file and we will store the data whatever we have in a PS1 file okay 
now just submit it okay job has been successfully ended with return code 0 now go to 3.4 and enter the backup file you can see the data is successfully copied from ps1 to uh, the backup file okay uh, that's all for this today's video thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel or uh, i'll be coming up with more and more videos kindly please like share or comment on this video thank you so much have a great and pleasureful day